How's it folks? Rockfish Games has just released a new update for Everspace 2 that includes legendary slot changes, new radio chatter, tweaking the paving the way boss fight, and a couple of more tweaks and changes I'll go through now. To start off the change log, they've added a dedicated volume slider for background chatter, added more radio call background chatter, and added the option to limit maximum frame rate while game is not in focus. All ship tiers are now able to equip two legendary items, whereas before, whereas before only tier 4 ships were able to equip two legendary items and you're stuck with one on tier 3 and lower ships. Drake Passage Boss Fight, they've removed the sniper turrets from the first phase, as well as making their shots easier to dodge, so you guys should have an easier time taking care of him. Change the name of the legendary item Cassiel's Protection to Castiel's, to comply with backer request. And in balancing, they've reduced Vindicator drone explosion passive damage, which is a little sad about because I quite like that little boom boom. Integrated community suggestions for translation improvements from crowding. Replace two ship passives. The interceptor refund 20% of the used alt energy after deactivating weapon overdrive has been changed to when flying toward a locked enemy target beyond 1500 meter range gain 15 percent increased speed so that's quite a nice one so as your dogfight interceptor you'll be able to close the distance and get in up and close and personal quite significantly better quite like that change and for the gunship 50 percent reduced hold and armor repair cost which to be honest i never really used has been changed to after 10 seconds of not being hit gain two percent armor recovery every second up to half total armor which might be a little bit challenging with the slow and clunky gunship but it would be quite decent for maybe try an emp blast to get out of range and recover a bit of armor that way so nice little survivability change there whereas the reduced hole and armor repair cost i doubt anyone really used and then the hard reset mode of the emp generator can no longer reduce the cooldown below five seconds yeah that was a little bit exploitive and then a couple of ui changes they've removed delay when opening pause menu added new marker to mainframe component in shop of mission 15 for better player guidance improved some inconsistencies regarding launch button on stations within the customization screen added commodity demand colorization to items shown in hud message log improved gamepad navigation with data sub tabs ship selection on home base Added a small input delay to support faster cycling, especially on gamepad, and also removed potential memory issues when spamming the change action. Improved unlocking of some stories so far entries that might spoil future story development. And then quite a few bug fixes. Fixed that unlocking a lock target did not work anymore. Unlocking is done by holding the lock target button for about one second when using mouse keyboard or double pressing it when using controller. Fixed alt charge, sometimes not displaying correct value after undocking. Fixed vindicated drone explosion passive not counting as player instigated damage. That was a little annoying. Fixed sniper drone turret targeting lasers clipping through geometry. Fixed weapon corrosion bonus attribute not working on certain weapon types. Fixed run damage values being shown in legendary item descriptions. Fixed damage scaling curve of legendary item effects. Fixed alt behavior when a sequence interrupts him. Fixed broken mission state in rips in space. Fixed sequence orientation when flying backwards out of the location boundaries. Fixed vindicated drones being lost after completing a ramen drone job. Fixed that autopilot could not be used when using same key binding for both interact and target lock. Target lock is an intended hidden action for autopilot. Fix that target free look could not be customized for gamepad controls. Note that this is by default a hidden action tile to hold in the switch camera button. Fix that in some cases using mouse wheel to scroll did not work in the mission screen. Fixed arc 9000 colliding with the player ship. Fixed NPCs killing ancients counting as player kills. Fix that X button. Icons were shown in cockpit in gamepad mode below devices consumables, icons instead of d-pad icons. Fixed missing sound effects for some condition fields, 
example radiation, fixed explosives damaging the player from too far away, fix that when unlocking too quickly after a repair operation, both value was set to current animation value instead of target value, look like ship getting damaged after undocking, I did notice that a couple of times. Fixed an issue where the camera would continue shaking after a sequence had been started. Fixed a bug that an empty ship couldn't be sold, claiming that there is no cargo space to transfer. And then a whole bunch of UI bug fixes as well. Fixed a potential memory and rendering order issues when opening pause menu multiple times. Fixed some issues regarding device charges when displayed within an inventory slot. Fixed multiple small issues regarding resource tracking within crafting inventory. Fixed multiple small issues regarding item shop inventory sorting and scrolling. Fixed that mark all as red action was accidentally shown in renown data sub tab in some cases. Fixed multiple issues regarding mastery preview of devices. Fixed experience bar glitch when opening menu after level up. Fixed multiple issues regarding ship dealer stats and actions. Fixed that sometimes container items were shown in HUD message log. Fixed that auto sorting wasn't turned off after dismantling when using keyboard. Removed multiple exploits regarding dragging and dropping off items across menu tab. Fixed some refresh issues of location info widgets within the map tab. Fixed that scrolling with gamepad in settings was partly broken due to inactive difficulty button. Fixed that the gamepad controls overview options right left handed and inverted not inverted pitch were labeled incorrectly. All right. Nice little update and community feedback changes there. Looking forward to checking out what the radio chatter sounds like as it was done via AR altered speech samples, but it was taken from their own team members. So I'm wondering what it's going to sound like. And I didn't really have an issue with the paving the way boss fight myself because I was kind of over leveled a little, <laughs> but some nice overall changes. And I'm glad they it's still being worked on and they're listening to the community. So good job, guys.